Some of them right now in Congress are comfortable with where we were 50 and 60 years ago, but it's a new day with a black president and a professional black caucus willing to help be serving the community.
if you have a job, yeah. it opens up a pool yeah. that your family will be able to merge into the American dream. Yeah. And so we want to help create jobs. That's, that's the only reason we're here, jobs, jobs. And then after that, our only interest will be jobs. And we believe that this time, by this time tomorrow, there will be people who will have been placed in the line to get jobs here in Miami with some of the major corporations. We have just about every major corporation in the country, from General Electric, the nation's largest, all the way down to Home Depot, who made commitments to hire uh, individuals on tomorrow. Uh, at least we will begin that process on tomorrow. Now, with our national interest for that to happen. But my last point would be this. You should be free to all that up in the most public work so we can get private jobs. We plan to lay off 240,000 postal workers. This year, 700,000 teachers. And we're laying off more workers than we are hiring. Yeah. For and against raising the debt ceiling. I'm in Congress now. How long you've given me the privilege? and I voted on the debt ceiling eight different times. The bill of goods that we were sold is that we had to include the cuts uh, with the debt ceiling. They are distinctly different things. And the only reason that it came up at this time is because the determination of the now majority in the House of Representatives is to make sure that Barack Obama is a one-term president. That's the only reason why this government. Tragically, it goes forward, and it will continue on. What we did not tell you is complicated, and that is, as we are going through what is referred to as the appropriations process, the Republicans have placed caps on how much money can be spent. So even when we come back with the super committee, however it is that they come to terms with more cuts without revenue, then there are going to be additional cuts. I must use this opportunity to tell you the absolute saddest day that I've had in the whole of Congress was the day that we passed out of the House of Representatives cutting $500 million out of the women and infants and children's programs. I have never seen such of, of an attitude of, uh, that's expressed toward poor people. So what we would rather do then is rather than allow a woman to have $100 for nutrition, we would rather the baby come here prematurely and take care of it in neonatal care at Jackson Hospital starting at $35,000. Something is wrong with this picture. And I think all of us know it. We dance and tap around it. All of us know racism.
for the jobs I advertise and exist. That's a practical proposition. So when the uh, Fort Sumter Tea Party undermines mass public transportation, there are a lot of us that wait for where the jobs exist. So when your government in this state cuts mass transit in the party, we cut mass access to public jobs. Yeah, I think Al C summed it up when he said, we have to vote. Yeah. Let me tell you, I served with the Tea Party people in Tallahassee. I know that. You have a choice between re-electing Barack Obama or electing Michelle Obama. And I want you to think about it. If you think you're suffering now, if you think you're hurting now, you have to know, you just have to know this lady who sits six seats down me on the floor. Okay. She is absolutely not appropriate to be the president of the United States for all people. And not only her, not only her, every name that you have seen that has come forward. You know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping that when Mr. Obama is elected, is re-elected, Thank you. 